Hi, it's Patricia. To those of you who've already seen me, uh, for those of you who are maybe just seeing this for the first time, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am a twin flame. I'm a lumens Blu ray twin flame. I'm in Chicago, Illinois. So, thank you for watching all my videos. I have a few things to talk about today. Today, as I record this, we're still in this uh, first, we're in the latter part of the Mercury retrograde, but at the first part of the year. And we're about to go direct. Uh, there's uh, quite a few things happening behind the scenes. And I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's healthy. I want to let you know some things, too, because things will maybe happen, maybe you need to cycle around again, maybe look like they're going backwards. But what is this? This is a pause. This is a time to assess. It's a time for some inventory. And when things go direct, this is a real time for actions. And I want to let you know that increasingly over the years, the energies are much more conducive for people to take the actions that they need to take. And it's different things for different people. I wish there were a cookie cutter approach to this. There really isn't a cookie cutter approach. The approach that I use is actually one of the senses. It is you reconnecting to your heart. It is you using what you've got, both inside and outside, and actually each other. Because for twin flames, you complement each other. And you can only be as whole as a half a person can be. You're so fun. They had to pour you into two bodies. There's two of you running around. Yes, there is. <laughs> Anyways, a um, few things to know that we're coming into now. This time is going to be for reconnecting the Divine Feminine to her masculine. And it is internal, it's private, and it's personal. When I say it's internal, it's using your internal parts and your internal connections. It is immediate and it can be very intense. What does that mean, Patricia? I've been feeling intensity for years. Yes, you have. I don't know necessarily that everyone has equal levels of intensity. And it does no good to compare pain and say, well, my pain's worse than your pain, and your pain's worse than that person's pain. Everyone has their own uncomfortability and pain. That's a common thing with all of us. Um, the intensity, it can be anything from levels of discomfort. It will more than likely be feeling like something's resurging, coming up to the surface, another go around of some childhood or family lineage illness so that it can be gotten rid of once and for all and for good. Um, I myself have had and haven't had in probably 20 years a recurrence of asthma that I had as a child. Now, as a child, I had trouble breathing here on planet Earth. As some of you get reconnected, you're going to find that your twin, who may have been connected to the technology planet, or the music planet, or the art planet, and that's in you. It's a part of you. You're complementary to each other. You're going to find that some of the intensity equals discomfort, uh, you know, there, the shoe isn't just on one foot. It's for, it's both of you. But what I do want to let you know is, for those of you who've really done your work, you're going to pass through this pretty quickly. This is going to be a very rapid uh, transitioning transit and continue taking you into your transformation. And uh, all of those lovely T words. 
time for tea. Okay, the masculine is here. So uh, one of the things that always just sort of gets me is half the planet's men, and yet there seems to be some level of upset. And yet the masculine is something very much desired by people. And I know people, they have said, oh, I tried, I tried to talk. How many people do you know that really want to take directions? You can't even drive in a car. You're trying to meld two people from two different streams of consciousness and you're trying to do things with your mouth. And I want to remind you all of something. Your mouth is really for kissing. Remember that. Remember it with your heart. Your mouth is for kissing. They may be doing you a favor because you're the only two that have your own eternal connections. So the masculine is here. Things are going to still keep getting better and better and better. We scraped the bottom of the barrel a while back. February is the month of love. And this is going to be about balancing the lovers. Not just balancing masculine and feminine. You're going to be balancing out each other. That includes holding steady. That includes holding so that if one of you is wobbly, the other is steady. It's that simple. There is value in simplicity. Kiss it. Keep it simple and sweet. Let me write that down. Oh, these pens. Kiss it. Kiss. Keep it simple and sweet. Now, sometimes this is used for sales or for making a sales pitch. I say key, kiss it. Keep it simple and sweet. All right. Where is the focus going to be? The focus is going to go where it is most needed, meaning that if you or your twin have something that still needs addressing, that's where the focus is going to be. It may be a body focus. It may be something that comes to your attention. It's more than likely going to be something karmic. It could be a karmic illness, a person, an organization, uh, anything. Anything that needs proper addressing and concluding, okay? Those karmic situations, unless they're properly addressed, will probably feel like they're making you sick. There's a few events coming up here. January 23rd is the full moon. And again, what some of you do know by now, you've kind of gotten pretty well versed in what happens as we come up to these points and what happens after. I tend to call it the backwash after these full moons because that's what it feel like feels like. How do you elevate yourself so that you don't feel everybody's wishes or disappointments? How do you do that? February 2nd is going to be the first month of spring under the old calendar. Uh, it's referred to as Imbolc. And this is a really special time. So to use some symbols, and by the way, some of the symbols I've been getting have been elephants. It's been care of family and uh, intentional care of the young and the elderly and the sick. Those that cannot care for themselves. That was happening for me back in November. Um, that I know a lot of people that were seeing elephants in many ways. What And what's another symbol of the elephant? Remover of obstacles, moving things out of the way, taking action, but taking it sometimes from the heart, the caring, the sensitivity. The uh, A lot of people, you are caring for elderly parents. You're still caring for children. Or you care for about people in your community. And how do you balance that? How do you get balanced with your lover? That's the juggling act that a lot of you are getting very proficient at, where it doesn't feel like a juggling act. Some of the other events coming up, new moon in February. 
And these are significant. I mention them because they are significant. Some of you know about gardening. Well, what happens in the fall? You plant your bulbs and those very first flowers blossom out in the spring. That's another symbolic for you. And we have the full quickening moon. If I have any really good advice for all of you out there, it is to, and this has been coming through sessions. I've been telling people this since uh, the end of November, beginning of December, throughout December. The month of February, it has to be where it's Valentine's Day every day. Be in love every single day. Only you can do that. I can't make you go out and do it. Some of you have your ways. Some of you are trying to stay above that collective depression. There's depression out there in the collective. It happens. It happens because people drink a lot sometimes. It happens from situations. It happens from illness like diabetes, fibromyalgia. And that is a difficulty and a challenge that a lot of people have. But this year, we're going to get into what some of the deeper soul damage and how to get rid of it. How do you get rid of it so you can be with your true lover? And speaking of lovers, I have a little visual here for you that I prepared. Okay, You have the couple, and the pink represents their love bubble. There's a blue cord to their heart. And it goes around them. It's not really down to their feet. And sometimes they're, whoops, they're at the outside of their infinity symbol here between their two hearts. And what they are going to experience really hasn't been experienced here in a long time. Some of you have had many merges and you've been sitting tight with that. You know, you're saying, okay, I got a little taste of it. Now what? Now you're asking me to wait. Yes, we're asking you to wait because things have to be proper so that you don't get yanked down. Your twin doesn't get yanked down. You don't get yanked down. You're actually, here's the masculine. She's connecting to her masculine. He's reaching out his, his higher hand and he's saying, come on, come on. When they were down here, they might have looked at each other and said, Oh, I remember you. you. You came to my island before. And he says, no, I, d I don't remember it. But you Atlanteans have been here before. Look at you. You have blonde hair and blue eyes. And he says, but you're a beautiful mermaid. I, I can, I don't know. Do we see each other? Do we see each other? And maybe they're not fully seeing each other. But time passes and they, they pull away. They're coming back together. And as they come back together and their eternal connection pulls them and pulls them, what they've already connected to, which is represented by the purple, they've elevated this and they've twined it within themselves. Okay, it's not really in them. It's within themselves. And they come closer in their love bubble. They begin twining all of their connections together. This is really hard to depict, by the way. Okay? And a lot of you know me. You know I'm silly. Okay? They're going to spin and spin and spin their atoms. And some of you are not at that point. Some of you are right at the brink here. And I encourage everyone. I always do. Do you know who you are? You're the love. Be the love, be expectant, be open, be ready to receive. There is a timing to this. There is a time that goes beyond earthly time. There is a lot that has happened behind the scenes. A lot of people might think, I'm just a talking head. I know what I'm talking about. There are people that are in a state of disbelief. Just like some of you, as you've learned who you are, you have other believe, others believing that some of such a love could never even exist. What is that? Some of those people who are married, all they want is someone to do their laundry and cook meals and take care of children. And for them, that's as good as it gets. For other people, it's not. Their souls are screaming. 
your skin is screaming to be touched. They want to touch each other. You want your eyes. You want every, every connection with you to, to flow. You want to get into your higher flow. That's what, that's what a lot of us want. Some of you are screaming to go home. You're doing the internal scream. You're saying, you know, if this hasn't happened by now, by God, it's probably not happening. I'm, I, I'm just going to give up. That's on you. That's on you if you want to give up. What I'm saying to you is that at every given opportunity, there are people that do and feel. And they do by being. Please don't criticize, criticize them. Because the ones who go out in the front will receive the most criticism. Some of you know what I'm talking about here. Some of you are paving the way for other people. Some of you are tired and feel like you've been doing some heavy lifting on behalf of your twin who you perceive or think isn't lifting a finger. And that's not true. Because I am telling you right now, the Divine Masculine, he's a lot more nuanced than you even think. He's a lot lighter and you're going to begin feeling your man a lot lighter and lovelier or woman if it's a woman who carries the masculine energy and yes I'm going to say it gay and lesbian and transgender twin flames do exist and they have a purpose here there is a very high level agreement for why they exist here and they're they know it they know it and I'm going to say a couple more things here. First of all, if some of us weren't saying this stuff, whether or not you believe it, I know for certain that if there's one person I help today, I've done my part. I've done my part and I've focused on my union. And if there's a couple that has helped, and yes, nobody's under obligation to write to me. But some people do, and they say to me, Patricia, we got together, and woo, we were twining and spinning, and earth did not exist, time and space did not exist, and they're doing it. So please don't be like children in a car that say, are we there yet? Are we there yet? This is more individual it is, it is happening in groups, but it is the same kind of thing where if a building gets built, you don't send in the electricians right away. You've got to have certain people go in and put the lumber and the framing. There, that's how some of this is. There are certain couples whose harmonics are needed. Just like some of the couples who come from the music planet, they've needed to sing some of those songs that just crack open your heart and you say oh that's it those are the twin flamey words that I feel you know why aren't we doing what they're singing why aren't we and you'll find that many people have these latent gifts and talents that are going to begin popping out we all need some fresh material we all need some brand new things we all need um, new technology, maybe new ways of healing. It will get better and higher. Maybe there's countries that need some of what we have in excess. Maybe there's, uh, you know, things. And when I say this to you, it really only happens by people focusing on being in love. When they're in love and they don't see their differences, they just see that they love each other. That is what brings and magnetizes everything. That's when the universe forms around you, not the other way around. That's how it works. That's how it truly works. And it's very kissable. It is very kept, intimate, sweet, and simple. And sacred. And if you want to say kisses, we will say kept intimate, sweet, sensual, extra, sacred, 
and divine. Because that is how the higher love feels. It feels divine. There are no words to really describe it. But you will find that people will begin writing about their experiences, expressing it. You have to live it first. That's the key difference between twin flames who are awake and aware. Even if you've shoved it down somehow, it won't stay down. It always boils up to the surface. It will always pop up again. The facts always come out. The truth always comes out. You're, you're going to be kissing. You're going to be having fun again. So hang in here. February. Get reconnected. I have redone some things on my website. I'm going to be launching it in a few days. And as always, my tools are available. The tools are really simple. It's how do you move your body to open your channels, release easily, and get the love in so that you just want to be kissed and kissed and kissed and kissed. And when it comes to twin flames, when time and space dissolve away, it's hours of fun. So what I can tell you is that um, today we're not direct yet. We will be going direct. And there are some other events coming up over this year that may be very intense for people. If you haven't explored before, um, check it out and see you know if it works for you because it works for a lot of people i have great feedback on it and we're going to have the doubters we're going to have people that you know they may fall away simply because they're not twin flames and not everything that's out there that talks about spiritual stuff is twin flamey and all of twin flame stuff isn't only spiritual stuff Twin flames are the ones that integrate everything into their physical form. And that includes the spiritual. It includes the high mind. It is all in the heart. And it is, in, it is the love. That is who we are. The heart, the mind, the body, and the love. That very, very key, fiery, poignant, eloquent, dynamic, passionate, sweet, sensual, soft, slow, languid love. So with that, I leave you to have a wonderful day. Have a great week. And everything will be at the link down below on my website. Enjoy. It's going to be a great year for a lot of people. But the benefit is there for everyone. Bye now.